with this this bone also this will be like a middle finger dot l nothing else keep in mind name should not be save because it can be like uh, cause to replace the bones okay and this name will be finger middle finger tip dot l cool same thing we will do here so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how you can create a bone structure with their names also right now here you can see on my screen we have a good bone structure and if you will just notice little bit so here you can see i have a specify all bones their names also here you can see this is the hips bone this is the chest bone this is shoulder bone this is the upper bone this is the lower bone this is the head bone all right and all bones i have uh, given their specified names basically so let's start it as i promised you in the last video i will definitely make a video where i will show you how you can create a these kinds of bone structure with their names also so let's start it tutorial all right guys so right now on my screen you can see we have a one a character here and uh, what i'm gonna do first of all i'm just gonna press the shift a and i'll just go to my amateur section and here i'm just gonna add one single bone all right and here you can see when i'm just gonna add a single bone it will look something like that first of all i'm just gonna scale it little bit and i'm just gonna keep it little bit upside keep it here basically and one more thing i just want to do i will just go to my bone uh properties and here i'm just gonna um, change the viewport basically this is the bone property yeah and i will just change as a viewport in front so now what will happen doesn't matter which view we are that bone always show on the top of our character all right so first one here you can see this is look something like that now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna a little bit scale something like that i think that's look nice and one more thing I just want to do, let me just change this uh, 3D cursor to the medium point. Yeah, now let's look fine by the way. Let me just keep it here. Okay. And uh, now I'm just going to extrude this bone pressing the E extrude. Keep it here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to enable my X-ray mode. And uh, let me just a little bit down. Yeah. Okay. And I will just press the shift E and I'm just going to extrude this into the both side and make sure this this will be our shoulder bone so make sure just keep it in between our shoulder uh, portion basically all right again i'm just gonna extrude it e and this will be our uh, like lower upper basically and this will be our lower bone all right and same thing uh, we'll just select this middle one i'm just gonna add one neck bone something like that keep it here and again i'm just going to move it and this will be our head bone all right same thing we'll just select the uh, this pelvic bone i'm just going to do shift e keep it here yeah again i'm just going to extrude it this will be our thigh bone same thing extrude this will be our knee bone so what I'm going to do by the way, I'm just going to move it a little bit, something like that, little bit downside and I'll just go to my left view and I'll just move it a little bit down. This will be our ankle bone. This will be our foot bone. All right, guys, that's look cool by the way. Okay. That's look awesome. One more thing I just want to do, uh, what I will do basically, first of all, I'm just going to select those bones and I'll do a little bit like outside because um, our knees bone little bit pointing out the outside okay and these bone little bit backward and it will be here by the way yeah and same thing we'll do our hand bone also here you can see uh, this is our uh, like elbow bone i'm just gonna little bit backward something like that i think that's look nice so try to just keep it all those bone in the center of the body so that will definitely uh, react very nicely when we'll just connect these bones with our body all right now it's the time to give their names that's a very cool part basically okay first of all uh let me just a little bit down here yeah, something like that first of all what i'm gonna do i will just select this bone and i'll just go here by the way and here we can give the name of this bone 
what I will do, I'll just give this bone name as a hip underscore hip bone basically. Yeah, something like that. And this will be our chest bone. Yeah, chest underscore bone. All right. Now this will be our shoulder bone. So what I will do basically, I will just type as a show ULDR shoulder underscore basically not underscore shoulder dot L okay why I specify shoulder dot L because this is the our left hand okay then I'll just give this no name as a shoulder yeah we can just give a upper underscore hand dot L okay same thing we'll just give the name of this bone lower underscore hand dot l awesome that's so nice okay this will be our neck bone so we can just give a simple name neck nothing else we don't need to specify basically okay and this will be our uh, head bone so we can just give a name only head that's it we don't need to specify anything because we don't want any complications okay we will keep it very simple so we can uh, like uh, create a rig and we can like rectify the bones after while making a rigging okay and constrainer also now this will be our uh, like hip we can give a hip uh, dot l yeah that look nice this will be our thigh bone thigh dot not dot dot l this will be our thigh. This will our knee bone. So we can just give a knee dot L. And this will be our ankle. So ankle dot L. Yeah. And this last one will be our foot dot L. All right, guys. So here you can see we have. Uh, specify all bones name in a very simple way so we can definitely rectify those bones while making a rigging basically okay now uh, one more thing i just want to do basically we'll just create our hands bones also so what i'm what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna extrude yeah something like that keep it just keep it extrude keep extruding and cool now what i'm gonna do this will be our like uh, which bone what we can give the name of basically into those bones so i'll just select this bone i'll just give the name as a hand no no not hand uh finger underscore holder dot l okay yeah what we can do basically we can do index finger index underscore finger holder dot l i'm just gonna copy because we don't need to write every time i'll just paste it here i'll just change middle am i ideally middle finger holder dot l same thing i'll just give the name this is a ring bone yeah ring finger basically not bone dot l and this will be our like let me just paste first of all little finger holder dot l awesome look, look nice sound very good and this will be as simple as that this is our thumb holder finger yeah maybe thumb holder also okay we don't need to specify finger because thumb is thumb not a finger all right that's look nice now it's time to create uh, some extra bones also for the hand so for that what we have to do we have to just extrude it once something like that and one more time extrude that look awesome same thing we'll do the other bones also extrude extrude nice extrude extrude and extrude and extrude and we'll just go to in our uh, basically front view and we'll extrude it once then extrude it again 
Awesome. That look nice by the way. Okay. Now it's time to give the name all those extruded bone which is we have created right now. So what we will give the name basically this will be index finger dot L dot L. Yes. Index finger dot L. Okay. And this will be we'll just give the name copy paste index finger tip. dot l sound good same we'll just same thing we will do with this this bone also this will be like uh, middle finger dot l nothing else keep in mind name should not be save because it can be like uh, cause to replace the bones okay and this name will be finger middle finger tip dot l cool same thing we will do here what we will do basically we'll just do ring finger dot l and same thing we'll do here ring finger tip dot l awesome okay same thing we'll do little finger dot l dot l and little finger tip dot l sound good sound good sound good that look nice by the way all right guys so i'll just try to keep maintain very simple name so we can very uh, we can easily rectify all those bones name while making a like constrainer rigs ik fk so we don't need any complications that's why i'm giving a very simple name to identify all those bones okay now what i'm gonna do i'll just select this thumb bone and same thing this will be only thumb dot l yeah, of course, it will be only thumb dot L dot L and uh, this will be thumb tip dot L. Awesome. Now here you can see guys, we have a give the all left side bones name. Now the thing is that if you want to do same thing in the right side, so you can do it. There is no issue, but there is a one trick. With the help of that trick we can uh, directly flip those names and uh, we can we don't need to like rewrite all those uh, like names of a single bones basically okay so what i will do for that what i'm, what I'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna select all those left bones sorry right bones yeah these right bones okay make sure just select only right bones here you can see these are the right bones okay and I'll just do delete, delete bones. Okay. Then you have to select only those bones, which is you have deleted. Okay. Make sure only those bones, which is you have deleted. Okay. Just select all those bones, which is we have deleted. I think these are those bones. Now what I'm going to do, first of all, I'll just change my cursor as a 3d cursor and I'll just do shift D. I'll just do, uh, s x minus one that's great s means scale x means axis minus one means negative minus all right here you can see we have flipped all those uh, bones you know in a like uh, another uh, in a different side basically on the uh, on the right side okay now what i'm gonna do i'll just go to the amateur sections now i will just go to my amateur section here you will get one section is called basically names and i'll just do flip name okay make sure after clicking the flip names you will get one dialog box on your uh, like right hand side and here you will get one option is called strip number what will happen exactly right now here you can see we get a knee dot r but after that you will you are seeing the numbers dot zero zero one that's mean it is flip names but still we have a uh, some extra numbers we don't need that that's why we have to just click the strip number now here you can see we have a uh, only knee dot r now here you can see we have a uh, shoulder dot r we have a uh, upper hand dot r and same thing in the left side and now here you can see we have a uh, same bones in our left hand uh, sorry right hand side 
with their specified names okay but sometimes what happen that trick is not working and maybe uh, you might um, miss some step and you will not get exactly the same desirable result which is i'm showing you here so it 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 can it can be uh, like a little bit difficult sometimes so if we have a time to take a two minutes and just do a same thing which is we have done in our left hand and if you want to give a manually uh, names so that their bones so you can do it otherwise this trick will definitely work but sometimes it not work so you can do manually basically all right guys now here you can see we have a good bone structure with their name also now you can uh, like um, create a fk ik you can uh, like uh, move any bones you can rectify any bones with their name was also all right guys so this video purpose only if you are creating a basic structure so make sure you maintain the names of their bones so that will allow that will help you to select and create some animation create some constrainer uh, with their names also all right guys so that's it for the tutorial and uh, if you like this video if you learn something from this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys love you all